Oh my goodness. Whoa. Well, this is where we're hunting tomorrow, boys. Oh yeah, you know what we're doing today. So, the reason why I stress scouting, especially, especially public, is because you're going to have other hunters out here that you're going to be contending with. Other decoys, other spreads, other collars, other shotguns going off, making a bunch of noise and racket. You're going to have to contend with all that. If this is your first time to the wetlands or your public marsh this season, the first reason is to get out and see where the water is, see how much water is there, if there's any water at all, if there's too much water, and what the pools look like, how big they are, how deep it is. But number two and most of all is to see what pool, what body of water on the marsh the ducks like the most. Which ones are they hanging out the most? When they get up in the morning and fly off where they're roosting, where are they really piling into to eat? So. That's what we're really gonna look for today. See what pockets of water the birds are really concentrating at. Oh, but this is what it takes. You got to scout, scout, scout your public areas. Whoa, that's way too deep, I can't cross that. <laughs> that's another thing. You might wanna wear waders when you go scouting. I have my, uh, I got my boots on, but I just took on a little bit of water over the side of it. I got deep quick. I didn't think that ditch was gonna be that deep. Last year that ditch had probably six inches of water in it. We have had a ton, and I mean a ton of rain in the last week. So the ditches and stuff have a lot of water, but I'm not sure that the actual marsh does. Ooh, fast little suckers. Well, that was neat. Well, I just had about a 45 minute conversation with the wildlife manager. He's out here on his gator, uh, turning pumps on, moving get floodgates, doing the whole nine. And uh, he gave me some tasty, tasty little tips about where all the birds are. So, thank you buddy, I appreciate the tips and uh, the information, that was awesome. But, long story short, that conversation was amazing. Few huge points that he just told me that we just conversated about. One big point, he said, you know what? The first thing he said to me was, you know what? Since you're the first person I've actually seen out here walking and scouting, I'm gonna tell you where the juicy spot is. He pulled out his phone, showed me videos of the juicy spots the whole nine yards. So what I'm saying is, he's watched people drive around the wetlands, and then he's got calls from people saying, hey, where's the water at? Why aren't you flooding it? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, you might wanna get out of your truck and you might wanna walk in there and go check it out. What I'm saying, people, again, I stress scouting. Scout, scout, scout. So, look, just like this little pool here, guys, look how small it is. Last year, this pool went all the way out there, all the way over there, and way over there. It was a lot bigger last year. So he said, you know what, the reason why I appreciate meeting you out here and seeing you walking around and scouting is because one thing, one thing is a lot of people a lot of people will just show up, they'll go to the pool that they always do every year, the year before, they expect water to be there, and when there's not, he gets a call, and people are like, hey man, why aren't you doing your job? When he is. There's only so much that these wildlife managers can do. It's all about weather. They can only react to what the weather tells them to do. If it's raining a bunch, they can open gates, they can flood stuff, because the soil's going to be moist. If it's just drier than a bone like it was before July 15th here in Kansas, you can't do anything. If you turn a pump on, you're literally just going to be wasting water. So, managing cattails, keeping the smart weed, all the millet planted. These wildlife managers do a ton for us public hunters and they just help us enjoy what we love the most. And that's being out here with our friends, our family, our kids, our close ones, enjoying duck hunting, just raw, enjoying duck hunting. If it wasn't for people like that, it wouldn't be near as good, I can tell you, because what he's done for this place, just this little place right here, is amazing. I never understood how much wildlife park managers actually maintain and do for us, me and you. So, so I'm, I know, I know, I'm gonna quit babbling and rambling on, but I am gonna say this, the next time you decide to, uh, call the wildlife manager and be like, hey, why isn't there water in this pool or that pool? Or why didn't you mow this or that? Or 
can you do this or that or blah 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 you need to get out and scout walk you can't see the water from the road if you can't see the water from the road you need to get out of the truck and you need to walk like I am yes I'm probably gonna end up walking a mile mile and a half total right now but I'm telling you guys scouting if you you have to scout just as much as you hunt so if you're gonna hunt once a week for three hours or four hours that day you better be scouting for three hours to four hours before you hunt if you don't scout you can't have good hunts another little tip um, and he said this point blank he said you know in every marsh and public wetland any wetland in general it was like there's gonna be those little holes that take some walking to get to now just like I just showed this hole right back here that was just off the dike that's easy everybody's gonna know about that hole but if you find a hole, if you come out here, you walk out here and you get to see the birds fly like I have. I've probably seen over a thousand teal fly already, just being out here as much as I have. You get to see where they pile in. And if you can find those little holes way back that take some walking, go to those. Get to them. Because those, those are the money. Those are the honey holes, boys. I am so sorry I didn't get that wildlife manager's name. I wish I would have because shout out to you. Um, thank you for giving me your uh, little juicy spot here. Um, I'm walking in here. Again, I'm walking in here to scout to see where I actually want to sit and hunt. That's what you guys really need to do on these wetlands. Like I had said, walk in. Walk all the way in where you're going to be hunting. Find the spot that you want to hunt. Make sure there's water there. Make sure that's where the birds are going. If you do that the day before, you're golden for a good hunt the next day. Those are just things that need to be done if you want a successful hunt. So that's what we're doing. If I have to walk a mile one way, that's what I gotta do. But I want to ensure that I have good hunts, especially for all you guys. A lot of you guys out there love the videos. The duck season is finally taking off. I want to make sure we produce some good content for y'all and plus if I'm gonna be doing it I want a good hunt like I always say scout 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 baby you know a lot of these public wetlands like this there's uh, dikes that run them you know all the pools uh, how you get around how you're mobile how you get to one pool or the other how you walk are dike systems and that's where a lot of people sit is on the sides and on the tops of these dike systems one thing I'm seeing is a lot of empty shotgun shells guys be sure you pick up your empties because it's a privilege to be able to come out here and hunt these places we have to keep them clean we got birds flying boys look oh look at that group really good group That's what we gotta do, guys. Gotta come out, see where the birds are getting off of by walking out here. You still wanna be quiet. You just wanna let your footsteps kinda scare the birds up. You don't wanna be out here with a bunch of buddies scouting around being loud. You wanna be quiet, like right here, look. Yeah, buddy. That is why we come out and scout right there. If I didn't come out and scout, look at these birds right here. But if I didn't come out and scout these public areas, I would not know where to set up. We just ran, I'd probably randomly pick a decent body of water and it'd probably be the easiest body of water to walk to. Dude, that's what I've done in the past a bunch. But when you get out here and check it out, it gives you a lot of information that you need. I found my honey hole. Oh yeah. Okay, I just found the big, big population of the teal. And I've been sitting here listening to them and they're making a lot of chatter. They're just... You can hear a lot of water splashing around. You can hear a lot of feeding, a lot of water moving, and just 
that type of clicking, dugga dugga noise. I have not heard one mallard, one big wah, 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 wah. I haven't heard one yet. So, a little tip for you guys. If you're not seeing big ducks, don't bother at using a uh, mallard call or quacking at them heavy because all you're going to want to do, all I'm going to do for calling on these teal, I'm going to just, I'm going to use my mallard call and a teal whistle. I'm going to be whistling at them a little bit, very mildly whistling because I don't hear a lot of whistling going on. And then I'm going to be having my mallard call just doing little feeder. Just to, just to mimic commotion, feeding commotion. So, little tip on the calling. No calling right now for till season, in my eyes, is better than quacking that thing to death. Uh, if you have big ducks in your area as well as till, yeah, you can use your big call, but we're going to see how it works out for sure. Oh my goodness, look at all these teal. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Well, this is where we're hunting tomorrow, boys. Oh my goodness. Literally over a thousand teal just landed in front of me. I'm going to see if we can listen to them. I don't know if you can hear them. Just squeaking. They're just squeaking, 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 feeding a bunch. You can't even see them because of all the uh, mare's tail and smartweed, but there's a ton in there. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of birds. Oh, oh my gosh. So, A, scouting it provided me to find what you guys just saw so tomorrow we're absolutely gonna smash them if we don't shoot them if we don't shoot a limit without within an hour I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life but this is why you scout one to find the birds so you can have a good hunt of course but for two one of our biggest issues as public hunters is having to be crowded in a little area when you get out here and scout you find the spot that you want to hunt so when you don't scout, you come out here blind. You haven't seen where the water is, for one. That's a big thing. For two, you don't know where the ducks are. That's even bigger. And for three, now you're walking past people that just stopped at the nearest pool to the parking lot, and you don't have much option because you don't know where the water is or the birds. So if you don't want to be stacked up on people 100 yards from each other, get out here and scout. Well, we are back home, and let me tell you what, that was a very, very successful scouting. Oh, yeah, you noticed the lanyard? Yeah, so we have a few more little fellas in stock. You'll have to go down in the description, click the link for ducks lanyards, and see which ones we actually do have in stock, but we have a few. We will be filled back up with these just a hair after October 1st. So, be expecting all the gun straps, all the little fella lanyards, all the big lanyards, to be all back in stock October 1st, but there are a few small ones left. So if you're, if you're looking for a lanyard right now, I would go down in the description, click the link and go check which ones we have. Meeting the wildlife manager there uh, was just, it was a treat because for one, he gave me a juicy spot as you guys seen. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wreck them. But I hope you enjoyed this little public land scouting. I know I did, it did a bunch for our hunt. Opening day is tomorrow. This video is probably gonna go up after that hunt. So I hope you guys have Great luck tomorrow, Sunday, this whole weekend. Welcome duck hunting. It is finally back, boys. But if you want to support the channel and you know what to do, go pick up something from Ducks. I'll link all this product down in the description below. And if you guys like these how-to videos like this one here, you got to drop me a big old thumbs up. Let me know. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on that little notification bell right there. Hit it. You'll be notified when I upload. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.